Hello, this is Dave Travels Through Time, Channel 2, and today I'm talking about how I got into Stargate SG-1. So, oh, and also I'm going to put the links to the descriptions to please check out, and possibly if you can, subscribe to the Sci-Fi Nation. Great channel. Does a lot of great content, live streams, and a lot of really cool streams about Star Trek Online as well. Um, he's doing gaming streams of that. He's currently on a TOS, the original series, um, character. And, um, check out his channel. He's, he's a little past 500 subs. And also check out, if you'd like, check out the Captain's channel. Captain Time Lord, now he's called. Check out his channel and possibly subscribe to him as well. And today I'm talking about, anyway, today I'm talking about Stargate SG-1 and how I got into it. So basically I got into it because I saw it on KTVU, which was a San Francisco channel. This was on, but it would air here in Capitola, California. And um, it would air on there. And the first episode, I believe, was Thor's Chariot from Season 1. I think that was the first story I ever saw. And... Of course, that dealt with the Asgard. Now, of course, we wouldn't see what the Asgard really looked like until the end of Season 2. But that was the first episode I liked, I saw, and I was very interested in it after all, after that. And, yeah, I was hooked after that. I liked the main character's humor, which is played by Richard Dean Anderson as Colonel Jack O'Neill. And, of course, Samantha Carter was played by Amanda Tapping. Teal'c was played by Christopher Judge, and Dr. Janel Jackson was played by Michael Shanks. Now, I had seen the movie before. Um, this was a few years before. Um, they aired on Sci-Fi Channel, and I saw it, and that was before I saw SG-1. And I was about, I think I was 10 at the time, so this was, what, um, 2000, you know, when I first saw it. And I was hooked. And I think it even improves on the movie in some aspects. It goes into more detail. And it adds things. And I think of it as like a separate timeline to the uh, movie. Because so much changed, you know, from it. And yes, there are similarities. Yeah, you have Jack O'Neill. And you have his son to death, which is what happened in the movie. And yes, they went on Abydos. Even though it wasn't titled Abydos, they didn't really mention what the planet was called in the movie. But there's differences as well. There's big differences. Colonel Jack O'Neill is spelled with two L's, not one L. And they even make a joke about that. And, um, yeah, and of course the general is a different general on this as well. It's General Hammond, played by Don S. Davis, who had also appeared in another show that Jack O'Neill, the actor Richard Gene Anderson, he played in his other show, MacGyver. He guested in a couple episodes of that. And so, so that was cool. So, I, yeah, I just got into it. I got into the storylines of the gold, you know, the symbiotes and how they're the, the, the bad guys and then the system lords. And um, Apophis was the main one in the beginning. Then, of course, it changed to Near T and these other ones, like um, like um, um, Anubis was the main one later on. And Ball, they were two main baddies later on. So, yeah, I would say, yeah, the villains were interesting. And I like the, you know, the Asgard when we're introduced to them. You know, what we, we see what they really look like in Season 3 when uh, Jack gets teleported and uh, he gets to meet Thor for the first time, the real Thor, and that was pretty cool. And that was the episode where Samantha Carta gets promoted to, instead of Major, would be... Actually, it was Major, yeah, because it was Captain before, so she got promoted to Major. And, um, you know, and Thor gets to meet Jack O'Neill, Colonel Jack O'Neill, for the first time, and they form a friendship. Yeah, they form a close bond. And another of villains, besides the gold system lords, were the replicators. They almost look like these robotic spiders. Yeah, they're basically, yeah, robotic type spiders. Yeah, they were interesting. Then, of course, the Tok'ra. Um, they became a good ally for um, Earth and the SG teams. And then, of course, the, one of the main Tok'ra leaders is, is um, Sam Carter's dad, Jacob Carter who gets a symbiote, took a symbiote, because he was dying of cancer at that point, and that was a way to save him. So, 
and the symbiote's name was uh, Selmac. Yeah, and it's a good show, and I got into it, and it's just, the storylines are cool, and it's cool. There was this one episode, too, where Teal'c was basically, you know, on trial because he killed this uh, son's father when he was, you know, when he was under the guard, when he was working for Apophis, you know, and that was interesting. But at the end, you know, he shows, you know, how much he's changed, and, you know, and it was out of, you know, it was out of fear, too why he did what he did because basically it was like either kill this one or kill these all, all these people and it was a hard thing yeah it was intense good episode so yeah i mean there's, there's a lot of good stories in this so and i recommend checking it out and see what you think you know obviously make up your own mind if you don't like it fair enough you know I'm not forcing you to watch it's just a recommendation and yeah there's a lot of fun stuff with it now I really love General Hammond as a general. You know, when that changed, it was a little bit jarring to have happened because then it ended up being... Um, but then, it, you know, it was Elizabeth Weir for a little bit and then she got recasted, her character, a different actress, by Tori Higginson. And then um, then after that, uh, Jack gets promoted to General. General O'Neill. That's right. For you to hear General O'Neill. Oh, yeah, and I didn't talk about another important aspect was that Daniel Jackson, he also, he also, uh, uh, he died at the end of season five because he didn't want to play the part Michael Shanks anymore. He was tired of it. He wasn't happy. And, um, so he was gone for a season. And then, of course, he ascended at the end, at the end of season five. And then Jonas Quinn, which was brought in that same episode, he becomes the lead character in season six. And that was a bit, you know, I like Jonas, but, you know, he wasn't Daniel Jackson. Um, but he lasted a season and a half. I was basically the lead scientist, basically, for the SG-1 team. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great show. I definitely recommend checking it out. And obviously, I'll go into more detail. But, you know, you know, I just wanted to go into detail about my first episode was Thor's Chariot. And then, um, yeah, that was fun. That was That's what got me into it. It was just like, whoa, this is interesting. I want to check out more of this. Yeah, that was fun. So, yeah, I just wanted to go into detail about, you know, how I got into SG-1. And, yeah, and I'm still into that, you know, even though I'm no longer into Doctor Who, obviously, which I've said multiple times, I'm not going to go into more detail about that. But I still love Stargate, still love Star Trek. Um, I still enjoy Star Wars parts of it, and then, um, yeah. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. It's Monday already, and I probably will do a, maybe I'll do a watch along with Stargate at some point soon. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care, and if you like what, if you like what I live stream and do videos, subscribe to my channel if you want. All right, take care. Peace. Bye for now.